Is getting clowned on to the next no one world government. Take your carbon tax and start shoving it. On to the next no one world government. Take your carbon tax and start shoving it. Hold up. On to the next no one world government. No thanks, crook scoops and spooks start shoving it. Al Gore hockey stick shovel it. Man, man, big so serial, imperial, bumble it. Right, we're here in Toronto, Church of Climatology. Church of Climatology. Al Gore was giving a keynote speech um, discussing, you know, climate change, of course. And we went to this event to cover the event as a media outlet. And uh, we were there for no longer than about 45 minutes, and we were asked to leave the grounds. We were holding up large signs, and one of them says, you're feeling warmer, trying to get us hypnotized. The other sign I had was the only green Al Gore cares about with the large $100 bill on it. And we were out there for, like I said, about an hour, where security escorted us off the ground, saying we're not allowed to film or hand out flyers inside. They told us that their, their grounds are from the Princess Gate, down to Dufferin and from Dufferin down to Lakeshore and then he said so you're gonna to have to get off the grounds so I said okay so the other side of the Prince's Gate is uh, where you're telling me to go so I went to the other side of the gate and we were there for about I don't know 10 seconds I just started rolling and uh, security came up to me one one uh, lady and she said well you guys are gonna to have to get on the road she said I said you, you can't be here you're gonna to have to just move along move along onto the road I said, well obviously we can't stand on the road I mean uh, so as I was trying to get clarification, okay, where is this property line then? You just told me it's the gate. So now as I'm trying to get clarification of where the property line is, the security goon thug came up to us and... Uh, you can just turn that on. Okay. Over there. And over there. there. Don't point that in my face. Whoa, hey, hey. I could see the white on his hands going like that because he was squeezing so hard. I was waiting for my camera to snap. And I said, whoa, 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 take it easy. What are you doing? And so basically... That is assault. I mean, police officers are not even allowed to conduct themselves in that kind of manner. Um, I've filmed extensively all kinds of stuff, and I've never had anything like that happen to me. I filmed in Washington, D.C., the Federal Reserve, the White House, the Capitol Building, and I didn't even have any of those guys treat me the way that this uh, security guard in, uh, in Toronto treated me. This lot is our lot. Okay, this is Gore lot. See, here in Canada, we have a thing called freedom of the press. So when they use these types of fascist extremes to kick us out of, uh, of an event, I mean, you know, what, what the heck are things coming to? Yeah, it sounds like it's some extreme stuff is going on. This is not straight out? I thought you said this side of the gate. Okay, look at my finger. See all the way up there? Okay, now yeah, I know. Go the camera. Turn, turn the camera off. Okay. Is, is the exhibition a, a public grounds, would you say? W w were you surprised that you were not allowed? Um, yeah, well, the thing is, there are no no trespassing signs. There are no uh, anything like that. Um, the public walks through there all the time, people on bikes, you know. Um, and that's the same thing with right out front the gates. They said... Um, Exhibition Place has been Toronto's show place for uh, over 100 years of industrial innovation. We have North America's first urban wind turbine. There's a lot of not-in-my-backyard stuff with wind. Um, put it in my backyard, please. We have Canada's largest urban solar installation and the first municipally owned tri-generation hydrogen system. We know if we can do it there, businesses, people, other institutions can do it. In this current movement of, of, of truth and, and people taking action, which is awesome, I feel it's important to remain calm and not to engage uh, with the, the guards or the police in any kind of an aggressive manner because it doesn't it doesn't help the situation. But what you do is you you follow up. What happened was they actually phoned uh, the CNE and they phoned the bylaw office and they found out that security lied to us. The Prince's Gates were the boundary. So we were lied to. And as you can see, the security guards act like complete jerk offs by, uh, by uh, Dan from Press for Truth. One of his staff members holding the camera was assaulted. And you know, that's against the law. He can probably get charged if the cameraman got hurt. We were peaceful. We, we obeyed everything they told us and we just used their logic against them. That's all we did. This is Gore Lot. We're here with Al Gore's Stop Ice Company. <laughs> Stop global cooling. Stop global Selling cooling. Selling ice in Canada. We need the CO2. Stop global cooling. Church of Climatology. Al Gore's coal-fired furnace is getting empty. He needs your carbon tax money quick.
Join the Church of Climatology. Make your donation today. If we come together as one, take action and drive our neighbors, businesses and governments to act as well. Everybody wants a clean environment, but the governments and corporations and activists who are selling us the climate change and global warming myth and the carbon taxing solution are lying. We need to understand that. We need to expose that. We need to find real solutions against a global threat to Canadian sovereignty. Uh, the elite has always wanted to kill us. It's in uh, their Georgia Guidestones. Now they're practically making it official now with what's going on in uh, Copenhagen, with the Copenhagen Treaty. So don't buy this BS of overpopulation. The climate crisis has an impact on everyone, everywhere on Earth. You know, the environmental movement, um, for the longest time, have always, I mean, obviously their heart's in the right place. We all want to make this Earth a cleaner, better place to live. However, the current global warming movement has basically hijacked the, the, the environmental movement, the legitimate people who are trying to make a change for the good, and are turning it into what I say is more of a new age agenda, to unite the world on one issue that we can all get together. Because as a lot of people, researchers in this area know, they often use a technique uh, referred to as problem, reaction, solution. And if the problem is a global problem, and it's everyone's problem, and the reaction is a global reaction, then the solution is going to be a global solution. So it's, it's all part and parcel of the new world order, the one world government. You got this. On to the next, no one world government. Take your carbon tax and start shoving it. This is Gore a lot. Al Gore has always been used by the elite. If you look at his track record, anything he's touched, anything he's ever been involved in is, uh, you know, directly given to him by the elite. So he's a tool of the global elite and they use him uh, when he is needed to serve their purposes. Right, right, and we're still questioning the 2000 election. 